Hey, what up everybody? Antoine Fantuan here, internet's busiest music nerd. We're going to do a quick review of the new Roy Woods album, Waking at Dawn. Roy Woods, Canadian singer, songwriter, a uh, new artist on Drake's OVO record label. This is his debut album on the label. Last year I believe he had an EP on there. I have to admit I did go into this thing a little skeptical because of the label that it's on OVO Records. In my opinion does not have that great of a, of a track record. The label just kind of drops one mediocre alternative R&B record after another from a faceless artist who just kind of sounds like a replay of either Drake or The Weeknd who it seems every year Drake is just unhappy with the fact that he let him slip through his fingers so he just kind of grooms a, and finds a bunch of lesser known artists who kind of have a similarly ethereal and moody R&B sound. The one thing that seems to separate Roy from a lot of the other OVO artists is that he does a little bit of a dance hall thing on a few tracks here, not something I believe he was doing on his previous EP. Uh, now he kind of dabbles in it with a handful of cuts from this new record over here. Uh, and it's not like some authentic take on dance hall or anything like that. It's the very airy, smooth, skeletal type of dance hall that you might have already heard on Drake's last full-length album, Views. And uh, just like his mentor Drake, Roy seems to throw a little bit of fake patois onto his uh, delivery on some of these tracks too. Some people have said in the wake of Drake coming out with songs like One Dance that uh, he was just so immensely influenced by the huge Caribbean and the huge dance hall, the huge Jamaican influence uh, going on in Toronto. But I don't know, not really the case when you look at a recent 2011 census of the Canadian city uh, here. Toronto is only slightly more Jamaican than it is Jewish, Ukrainian, or even Russian. And Drake is not about to drop a Chastushka, I can guarantee you that. Regardless though, this in my opinion is just another filler release from OVO, which you can just throw onto the pile of Party Next Door, or Division, or Majid Jordan. These are not vibrant, creative, groundbreaking r and B records here, people. These are very trendy. They're wash, rinse, and repeat. The songwriting is bland. The vocals are un almost nondescript. Every once in a while, a hit or a song shines through, but that's just the very rare occasion. This Roy Woods record, in my opinion, is just another instance of OVO trying to continually capitalize on this alternative R&B trend, and they're just doing it with the most agreeable, most lowest common denominator records possible. But that's just my take on this LP. What did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Roy Woods, Waking at Dawn, Forever.